Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Andrew Frierson, Rector, St. James the Great Church, Dollar. Presiding officer, members of Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. Late in 2015, I officiated at the funeral of Kelsey Clark, aged 18, a transgender student at St Andrews University. She did volunteer work for St James Episcopal in Dollar. Extremely intelligent, she represented Scotland in debating and was an advocate for justice in political affairs. Her mother, Jude, a parishioner and friend, advocated both for the LGBT community and especially in improving mental health care in Scotland and came here often to work for that end. She also took her life last September and those losses are keenly felt. Yet their legacies and their contributions live on. Though they could not cling on themselves, their constant plea to any who would listen was for more kindness, more compassion in this world, which they exhibited in spades. In a previous parish, Mike, a professional violinist, for several years had been in a dark depression, unable to play or teach violin. When visiting him one time, out of the blue, I asked him to improvise nine passages of music in a forthcoming three-hour Good Friday service. He had only played from written music, and improvisation terrified him. To my amazement and his, he accepted. It was tense on the day. Would he be able to play, and in a way he had never done before? What followed blew me and more than 200 people, other people away. Many knew his situation. He conveyed the pain and torture and suffering of the world and his world as he connected to the Good Friday story. There was not a dry eye as he closed his own wet eyes and literally played to the gods. No one wanted it to end. My experience over and over is that the support of those who face huge obstacles in staying well and others in embracing their true identities bring unique gifts of creativity and love to our communities. Mike and Jude fortunately were able to find dignity, respect, and celebration of difference, and an open inclusiveness within the faith tradition that nurtured them. I know those same values are aspired to in this place. In a political world of much shallowness and untruth, be aware there are many in this land who thank you for the times that this place upholds those values. Thank you.